Okay, I just thought I should make a tutorial on how to export the files for 3D printing and for laser cutting because it's not such like straightforward thing to do. So let's do that. Um, so well, we have we have a folder. I mean, everything is in folders. Ain't that beautiful? Yes, it is beautiful. I know, I know. So case top, first part, just right click on it, export. And it's called case top, STL, binary, millimeter, medium, download. That's all how it should be. Export. And here's like blinkers. I should make a new folder called manufacturables. And then here a new folder, I would do 1.0. And then case top, save. Then case bottom, right click, export. Actually, I should name it case middle. But anyway, um, you know what? I might do that, yeah. I'm gonna rename to middle. How will people know what's the bottom? Oh, okay, so yeah, this will give you a reference which is the bottom, which is the top. Export, export, case middle, great. Back lid, uh, export, back lid, export. Back lid. Awesome. Now I'm going to go back to here. Laser cut parts. I have these acrylic arrows. Now, here for example, I want to select the face. Right click, export, and instead of STL, I want to do. What do I want to do? Oh, no, 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 no. Here's not how you do it. You do right click on the face, export as DXF DH, DWG. Uh, acrylic arrow, you can just name it acrylic arrow. Um, DXF, release, download, export five, yeah, blah, blah, blah. okay, export. And then acrylic arrow, that's gonna be a DXF uh, file, it's a different file. You can see the little icon changed because it's a different file because it's for laser cutting. And that's it. But, 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 not so fast, my friends, because we have to set up the file for laser cutting. Um, and it's super simple. We just gotta open um, vector based software, kind of like Illustrator. Um, in my case, I'm opening up Illustrator. And don't worry, it's gonna be so fun. You're gonna be like, oh my God, that's so fun. Um, so, well, I have Illustrator right here. Give me one second. Let me just, uh, let me just pull Illustrator here. There we go, Illustrator. Actually, you know what? I should make this big, go all the way here. Illustrator, there we go, make it big. Oh, oh, that's the most big thing. All right, anyway. Um, I'm gonna do file, open. Uh, -da 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 -da. By blinkers. Manufacturables 1.0 acrylic arrow open one by one millimeters. So here we go one one. That's really important, really really important. Um, check that out. Now, how do I know this is the actual measurement that I need? Well, you can do many things. For example, um, let's just all right. So for example, I have a. I have a circle here. I can use that as a reference. So you just need a reference. So for example, I'm gonna measure, oh, I know. What if I measure from here to here? 25 from center to center. No, I don't want that. 40, okay, here, maximum distance 40. That's a reference, 40 millimeters. Now we go back to Illustrator. Something I do, you can do many things, but for example, you can draw just a line from here to here, make sure it's vertical, yeah, whatever. I mean, just that it it shouldn't be precise. Like for example, here, I'm gonna change my document setup to millimeters. And now this line that I just created that I'm gonna delete later, I'm gonna put it here, is that, and it says it's 40 millimeters high. Actually, it's pretty precise. If it's 41, 40 point whatever, it's fine. It just means that you didn't click where you're supposed to click, but that's just fine. If something went wrong here, it would be like by a big amount of, or, or like it's super small or it's super 
Like if it just by little amounts, it means that you're not measuring like precisely, but it just gives you a reference that it's in the right scale and that it's fine. So I'm gonna change the color to red, 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 which it has to be 25500. Um, let me check if I'm recording, by the way. Yes, I'm recording, okay, cool. Uh, and also the stroke has to be 0 0.001 inches. And that's it, that's all you need. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna put this here. Um, and I'm going to make two of those. Um, now, shouldn't matter because my acrylic is transparent, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mirror it. Uh, and to mirror, I think it's here, object. Actually, I shouldn't, I, I, I don't even need, even need to do that, but here I can reflect it. Um, vertical, 90. In my case, my shape is so easy that I, I don't need to do it. Also, if you can join them together as much as you can, that's good to prevent, uh, well, to, to just to take good use of the material. Actually, I think this would be even better. Look at how little material you're using. I know. So smart we are. Um, yeah, that's all we need. Awesome. That's so cool. Um, now that you have that, file. Save as. Save on my computer. Uh, what, acrylic arrows. Yep. And this is the one I'm actually submitting. This this DXF is just for me to work it out, but the one I'm submitting is this Illustrator file. Good, 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 good. Illustrator is no longer needed. Well, I mean, saving, whatever. Um, I don't know why, okay, there it's file, quit. I don't need to use it anymore. And now, um, well, you submit it um, wherever you need to submit it. <laughs> um, great. Awesome. That's all for how to export um, the files. Uh, when you submit it, just please make sure you you, you um, let them know what what uh, material you're using and stuff like that. All right. See you in the next one.